I have to show off a little bit of handiwork uh, from this last weekend. You know, we we're heading into summer, and it's really starting to warm up. And with these smaller spaces, like the vans or ambulances, you want to be able to keep the place cool, but you don't want to burn up a whole lot of electricity by using uh, air conditioner and having to run a generator or have a huge house bank of batteries in order to uh, supply an inverter to run a air conditioner. So I've been seeing these things online, a lot of people creating uh, small swamp coolers using ice chests. And so I looked at them and I wanted something a little bit smaller just because of floor space and I picked up a, let's see, what is this, a 28 liter, 26, 28 quart, 26 liter ice chest. It's about double the size of the standard lunchbox style ice chest. And it seemed like right about the perfect size. I'd already had this inline fan, which was used, um, it, it's an induct fan, which was used for the, the air evacuation inside the ambulance that I, that I have. And uh, I had removed that some time ago. Just It, it just really wasn't, it would, it would probably be great if you had to get smoke or something out of this fan, but it's, it wasn't as good as like a fantastic fan or something for cooling off the vehicle. Um, it was also very noisy and because it did produce a, a huge volume of air, which for this application is perfect. And then, um, let me remove this one so I can move the handle down. So what I did, as you can see, I cut two holes in it to put in the, the right angle um, PVC pipe fittings. I have installed a toggle switch for turning it on and off. It's currently hooked up with a coiled style cigarette lighter cord. And inside, I have the swamp cooler material, which is a, a cut to fit type. It's, uh, it, it, it worked a lot better with this application. And down inside there is a small 12 volt submersible pump. And that pump pumps up to a piece of PVC pipe that has a T in the center of it. So it's, it's teed out right there. I think you can see that brass fitting. And all along the, the inside of that pipe, I drilled I drilled holes so that when the pump is running, it's actually spraying onto this, this piece of um, swamp cooler material. Put this back together, get the handle up, and fit my little elbow in there. Now it's fairly noisy, but the, the amount of air that it pushes out, I'm actually able to see a 10 degree drop um, or a difference in the intake air versus the output air. And so that would be that would be continuous over a certain period of time until obviously until the the water no longer wants to evaporate into the air. Um, on a day like today, it's it's amazing the difference. It's a little bit cooler today, and the air that comes out of it is downright chilly. Like I said, it's a little bit loud, a little bit noisy. But, you know, you, you find yourself out in a spot and you can uh, you turn it on, cool the van down. And, and then if you have to you know, stealth camp or, you know, pull in somewhere where you don't want to be noticed, you just turn it off. You know, make sure you get the van cooled off before then. Otherwise, this thing looks like it, it's going to work perfect for me. Additionally, because I got the ducted fan or the in, induct fan, I can run ducting um, to the outside, which would draw in even cooler air on even a hot evening because, you know, 
these contained spaces tend to build up heat. Um, that's all I got. And uh, I thought you guys might enjoy. Nice little addition. I'll keep you updated as the summer goes on and how well this thing works. Until then, just ramble on.